So hey everyone, recently in the comment, someone asked me, sir, if I'm spending my time on learning SaaS, okay, by training institute and in spending my time on internship as well, today I'm going to explain about what duration will be counted as gap by companies and what duration will be not counted as gap in which scenarios. Okay. So let's discuss about what duration or which scenarios will be not counted as gap. So the first point is, let's suppose if you're taking training from training institute, so that will be not counted as gap because you are spending your time in learning SaaS. Okay. So that you are utilizing it. Then only you can give the interview and perform well, right? So that will be not counted as gap. Again, let's move to second point. If you are spending your time on applying for jobs or cracking interviews, somehow you also know sometimes you are unable to crack your interview in the first attempt. So it might take time, right? And even for getting interviews, the process will take time. So that duration again will be not counted as gap. Let's suppose you want to move to clinical SaaS job role or from XYZ job, you are moving to XYZ job. So let's suppose earlier from past four years, you're working in some different companies or for different roles. Okay. And again, you're moving to clinical SaaS or any other role. So again, that duration will be not counted as gap because earlier you are working with some different organization. So that will be counted as an experience that will be not counted as an gap. In the fourth point, let's suppose if you are preparing for government exams, in that case, again, it will be not counted as an gap, but you should make sure your duration for preparation, it is not more than three years. If it is more than three years, even in the case of three years, you should able to justify to the interviewer that you are preparing for government exams and the whole process took this much of time. And that's why after like three years, you are giving this interview and you're applying for private jobs. Now moving towards to this scenario, government jobs, I have already trained to one student who was preparing for government job exam. What happened? He was preparing for government job exam. Somehow he was unable to crack that. So somehow he connected to me by watching my videos. Then he learned clinical SAS from me. He got a job as well. Okay. Exactly. After three months or maybe after two months, he got the job. So what happened after getting the job? Again, his government exam was there. He was still doing the preparation. So he left the clinical science job, started preparing again for government jobs, somehow unable to crack that government job. Again, he started looking for jobs in clinical says like whole journey and what happened and what mistake you should not do or in this scenario what you should do i already made a video okay you can check in i cards i'll give the link over there you can directly click and watch the whole video we till now discussed about which scenarios will be not counted as gap now we'll be discussing about which scenarios or duration will be counted as gap so let's suppose you completed your education or study and then you didn't applied for job or even you didn't work in any company. If that duration is more than two years, you haven't worked in any company, you didn't even applied for a job. So that will be straight away counted as gap. Now coming to the final conclusion, let's suppose there can be a scenario, you have some health issue. So in that condition, what you should do? And let's suppose in any of the case, you have gap of two, four, eight years in that situation, what you should do that we are going to discuss now. So let's suppose if you're having any health issue or physical related issue, okay, because of that, you met with an accident or due to some health issue, you are unable to work for those two, four or eight years. Now let's suppose if you are applying for a job, if you are properly able to justify the things, okay, because of the health issue or the physical problem, you are unable to work. You, you even maintain your documents. You have those documents. If you are able to convey them properly, even able to submit your documents, you don't need to worry about that. You'll surely get the job. Even in some scenario, let's suppose you're having two, four, eight years of gap. You don't have the physical issue or uh, any health issue. Even in that scenario, you can get a job. Okay. Even if you're having eight years, but you should make sure for the role you are applying, you should have a good amount of knowledge. So role specific knowledge is required in that scenario and you should have the patience of one year. So you should have proper skill for the role you want to get job or you want to apply for job and you should have the patience of one year until the time you should practice it and try to get the job. So in any of the scenario, you can get the job. So hope this video have been cleared out your doubts. If you have more doubt, you can ask me in the comment. I'll try to answer in the comment itself or else I'll try to make a video as well. So let's meet in the next video. Bye bye everyone.